If you're interested in comic book conservation, please join us on Facebook at the Comic Book Conservation Community, uh, where we talk about uh, conservation, leaf casting, tape removal, Japanese paper, wheat paste, anything that has to do with comic conservation, deacidification, everything's there. We have experts on hand to answer all your questions help you solve problems that you're having in your own conservation work. So please come join us. Hey everybody, it's Larry from Flying O Comics. It's been a while since I've done some uploads. I just wanted to give you a quick upload today. A little bit of a, uh, of, of a tease. I do have an unboxing. I've got two boxes in front of me that are uh, single issue comics. Whenever you got a single issue in a box from CGC, there's usually something good inside. So let's take a look. Okay, so let's take open our first box. I've got our trusty number 23 scalpel that I'm just going to run down the side here. Yes, I know. Don't pull the scalpel towards you. Okay. All right, that should do it. Let's get this open. So we got a nice uh, bubble wrapped uh, single book here. Let's take this away and roll it here. All right. So let me make sure I get the right side up and flip it over. Okay, let's go this way. All right. So here we have a. This is actually my first uh, signature verification from uh, JSA. So let's take a look at this. It is Iron Man and Submariner number one. Uh, let's hold this up a little bit so we can get a good focus on it. So it does have the CGC authentication right here from JSA. This is a one-off book. So they only made one of these. You know, there was no issue number two. Uh, they separate it out. But right here, we have uh, Gene Colon's autograph. Now, Gene Colon died over a decade ago, but he is very much uh, an important part of this book. There we go. So predates both Iron Man 1 and Submariner 1. So Roy Thomas, Archie Goodwin Stories. Gene Colon is one of the artists on it. This is a... Very sought after book because it is one off. I'm sorry, my camera's not being bad about focusing. Here we go. Let's see if I can do this a little bit slowly. So anyway, what a what a, a great book here. It's graded at an 8.0. Okay, let's take a look at the next book. Okay, now taking a look at Go Collect. Here is the 8.0 signature series. Now. Every single one of these books that have sold at this category from 2020 are signed by Stan Lee. Now, Stan did sign a lot of books, and but I think more importantly, there are very few, if any, out there floating around with Gene Colan's signature. So what do we value this book at? I'm not really sure, to be honest. Now, we have a fair market value uh, of what uh, Go Collect is using their algorithm to sort things out. But looking at the uh, past sales over the last three years, they're all over the place. So uh, again, now it's a Stanley signature. So is there any uh, market value in this? I think so. Uh, I would actually, if I were to put this book out uh, for sale, I would categorize it probably someplace around yeah, probably around the seven hundred dollars, maybe maybe higher, of uh, of value. Like I said, uh, Gene Colan's signature is uh, is kind of rare, and he passed away uh, over a decade ago. So I think this would be a, an interesting book for somebody's collection. Now this next book, it's in a much larger box. Usually, this is uh, they put these uh, boxes in for the the high value. Um, books. So let's see here if we can get a an 
end to open for us. Okay, let's see. All right, yep, it's got the, uh, the great big bubble wrap inside. Get this out, there we go. So, when you have a high value book from CGC, they place it in the, this nice uh, bubble wrap filler, which are kind of nice for shipping. But So this particular book, if you remember from a video quite uh, several months ago, um, I was in Hawaii and I went to Other Realms Comics. And I was able to acquire uh, several comic books. This is one of them. Um, <clears throat> well... I'm not going to waste your time anymore. Let's just get, take it out of here and take a look. So, here we go. Yay. So, what this is, is a, a new stand, Wolverine Limited Series, number, uh, number one, and... I sent it in to have it signed by Frank Miller. So let me hold this up so you can actually see the label. There it is. So I was really happy with this book. Um, I knew there was potential for a really good grade on it, but I just didn't know what. So I, I did my normal routine on it. I am very pleased with a 9.6 considered... I bought the entire set of four books, the one through four, for $250. So I'm not sure where this one will price out at. We'll look at that in a minute. Uh, but I'm, I'm really happy with these two unboxings. Now, again, looking at this, uh, this is GoCollect's uh, algorithm working here. Now, most of these books were signed by both Chris Claremont and Frank Miller, so it's kind of hard to gauge the value on this. They're showing it about eight seventy five, and the range is from eight seventy five up to nine eighty eight. So I'm not sure exactly where it's going to fall, but uh, still, I think for uh, value added to the collection, uh, this one book alone stands by itself. Please join us every Sunday evening at 8.35 Eastern, where Dr. Paul from Liberty Hill Comics, Phantom Phil from Phantom Restorations, and myself, Captain Larry, from Flying Ale Comics. We are here to answer your questions. Uh, we always have interesting topics to talk about, but please come join us, watch the channel, support us, and ask anything you need, and we will do our best to answer it.